Hi, Chris Doherty here for RVTravel.com from America's largest RV show. And we're here with electrical safety expert Mike Sokol. Mike, thanks for joining us uh, this afternoon. And we have in our RVs something that, and I know as a, as a certified RV technician, people ask me about or call me about on a regular basis, and that's called a GFCI or ground fault circuit interrupter. But if that thing is tripping, there's something going on with that, isn't there, Mike? It is, and a lot of times people will blame the, the ground fault interrupt itself and say it's randomly tripping. It's not generally randomly tripping. The reason why it's tripping is you have a leakage current happening somewhere. It could be water in an electrical box. It could be a wire that's rubbed through and then it's bare, but it means that it's, it's attempting to save your life. So never bypass a ground fault interrupt or replace it with a standard outlet as required by code. Um, and if it is tripping, then go try to, to investigate and find out why it's tripping. Just don't ignore it. Its job is to save your life, and it can only do it, do it as long as you're plugged into it. Now, what are a couple of things that RV owners can do if they're out camping someplace and the GFI trips a couple of times? What is something that they can do to try to troubleshoot it themselves before calling an, an RV technician? Uh, the best thing to do is unplug everything that you can unplug. That is, if you have an, an outside extension cord hooked to uh, a hot cooker or whatever it may be, unplug everything, turn off all circuit breakers, and then turn on one circuit breaker at a time. When you find the circuit that's drawing the current and causing it to trip, then you'll have a hint as to where the problem started.